I recently painted my client's cabinets with a $200 sprayer and got an absolutely perfect finish and my clients love the job. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it and how you can do it too. Let's dive in. Hey everyone, Ryan with DIY Painting Tips here and I'm about to open and check out the Wagner Flex Seal 5000 sprayer. I've used a couple Wagner Flex Seals in the past, the uh, 2000, the 3000, and we're able to get a really fine finish out of them. And um, you know, you just need to know how to set them up and use them so you can spray fine, a fine finish. And we're gonna be spraying cabinets with it today and I'm gonna show you how I can get a professional looking finish that matches my $2,000 sprayer with a $200 sprayer. All right, let's open this up. Haven't even opened it up and checked it out yet. All right. All right, right off the bat. It's kind of cool, it comes with a nice carrying case. I like that. Nice. I'm assuming this works very similar to the other Wagners I've used and not to mention the other HVLP turbine systems I've used, so I don't expect much of a learning curve for me, but I will show you guys every step of the way how to use this thing. All right. My biggest thing is just gonna be figure out how on earth to open this. All right, cool. Don't sit on it, it says. All right, I won't. So, all right, all right. All right, so right as we open it up, we have the, uh, the hose. How does this open up? Gotta admit, I don't even know how to get the hose out. Little thing here, keeping it in place. There we go. All right, so that's our air hose. Set that out. Cool, cool, cool. Now we're supposed to have a fine finish and a general finish sprayer here. I believe this one's gonna be our fine finish. Um, it's smaller, that would just lead me to believe that. And when you look at the orifice, the tip, much smaller, if we can see that here, compared to this one is huge. So I'm guessing this is, you know, the one that like, hey, spray your ceilings, spray your walls, spray your deck. I would never want that much paint coming out when I'm spraying cabinets. So I'm gonna leave this guy right in here. All right, cool beans. We're gonna put that right here. I'm gonna close it back up. Kind of a neat, neat uh, whole system how it all goes together and admit that they definitely have some cool design that I really like all right so how does this go back together there we go all right so now we're gonna take our air hose and our air hose is gonna plug right in here And, all right, our turbine's gonna spray out right here, and this is our fine finish tip. Got a couple arrows, connect it here, twist it, lock it into place, and we've got a very, very basic HVLP gun. All right, so this is gonna be our airflow. Um, typically, what we're gonna wanna do, I usually tell people start at zero. I can't tell which, oh, so here's, all right, so I'm at zero and you wanna turn it up until your atomization gets just right. So we usually start down low, but be honest on these Wagners, almost every single time I end up with them all the way up. Um, I'm not entirely sure what this guy is right here, unless it's some sort of locking. Yeah, it maybe a lock or something. Now the tip, um, Let's take a look here at the tip assembly. All right, I'm gonna admit, I might be a good painter, but I'm not a good filmographer. This camera keeps turning off on me and I don't even notice it. But I just wanted to go over the last few bits of this. This is our air pressure tube. This siphons off a little bit of air 
from our, um, our hose and use it to pressurize the paint, the paint cup, which then, as long as there's pressure, it's gonna push paint up the, sif the, uh, the siphon tube and bring it up and bring it out and push it in front of the air, which then atomizes it and sends it out. Oh, another thing compared to a nice expensive spray gun is these are, you, you set this and it's gonna point in the back direction. So if I'm painting up, see how the, that's gonna go into the bottom corner of my cup. Um, nicer ones are gonna have a little control here so you can change that direction. So if I'm spraying sideways or something, but that's just something you're gonna have to live with on these cheaper guns. Um, right here, this is a little bit different compared to most HVLP guns, but this is gonna control how much paint I'm gonna get out. It only lets me bring the trigger back so far, which basically is a needle control on most other guns. We're gonna want, we're gonna probably start with less paint, more air, just to get as much atomization out of this gun as possible. I think the video caught where I was explaining the spray fan, but if your air is coming in this direction, it's gonna flatten your paint to be a fan like this, where if you have it here, the air is gonna pinch it that way and create a fan like this. So if I'm spraying my cabinets up and down, I'm gonna spray like that. Uh, another thing is this has a one-way valve here, meaning if I tilt it this way, paint's not gonna come back up and make a mess here, but I never like to fill my cup too full so that I don't make a mess of these inside here. I like to make it, you know, maybe half, three quarters of the way full. Just keeps everything a little bit cleaner. Um, not a huge hose, not a 25 foot hose, which is really nice on a, on a more expensive machine. You can keep the machine out of your spray area. But I'm gonna park this in the corner down here. I'm gonna have to bring it around a little bit, but I think it's gonna work out pretty good. So let's mix up the paint and get started painting. I'm gonna put that right here. There's a plug-in on the other side. I'll actually move it over there. For this project, my two favorite paints, I'm gonna be using Smart Prime for the primer. And Advance is just one of my favorite uh, top coats. So when I'm mixing my primer, I like to do 20% water to thin it down. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna do 24 ounces. And then I'll go right up to like the four, which is gonna be, gonna be pretty darn close for water. that water in and we're gonna mix her up probably need to mix up one more batch of paint a primer here but this is enough to get us started we started with thinning at 20% so we are going to give this a shot and just see what our spray fan looks like right off the bat here. Okay then. Well, that was an interesting start. Set power. Oh, this only fires when you pull the trigger, I think. So I saw there was a little metal, there's wire running through the air hose, but I didn't realize that I could control it right here. How cool is that?
Uh, I just wanted to get my first reaction to the Wagner Flexio 5000 here. And holy smokes, did I love this sprayer. I thought for the price, I was gonna have, be like, hey, it works, you know, you get what you pay for. This is the nicest cheap sprayer I've ever used. I've used the 2000, the 3000, I've used the Home Right finish, or the Home Right sprayers. This thing is a great little thumb switch right, right here to control the power. That is awesome. Let me mount this camera for a second. On top of that, it atomized the paint beautifully. I thinned it down 20%. I got great atomization of the primer. I use Smart Prime. It, it sprayed on phenomenally. Uh, to clean up, just uh, pull this guy down. And this disconnects. I took this into the bathroom, cleaned out my cup, pulled out the siphon tube, Clean that out. Pulled the tip out, clean that. And everything is just plastic, so that just went in. And he just pulled the trigger back and ran water through here, which is the only part that's a little bit hard to clean. This little guy that comes out the nozzle and just ran, ran water, sat, ran it, ran it, tipped it over a few times till it came out clear. And it was literally that easy. So, as of right now, I'd even say if you're a painter and you don't have much money, this is a great starter. This is, this is absolutely something I'd be confident bringing into any kitchen and knocking it out. It's, keep, ooh, it's incredibly light on the shoulder. So one common issue is when you're spraying above your head with an HVLP, your shoulder just dies. Um, when you got a big metal cup gun, that can get a little bit heavy. Or with these cheaper Wagner ones where they're all one, like the Wagner, um, like the 2000 or the 3000, you've got the whole um, turbine built right back here and it's murder on the shoulder. So this is actually, you know, for what it is, pretty light on the arm. I still have to switch a little bit due to bad shoulder, but it was great. This hose was just enough. I did have to keep this in my paint area, which I don't love because I don't like uh, it having to suck air in in my dusty area. It'd be nice with a little bit longer hose, but it is what it is, 200 bucks. I couldn't recommend this thing more. Um, I absolutely love it so far. So anyway, I'm done with the primer. Let's take a look, then I'm out of here till tomorrow. So like I said, I painted everything on. I didn't take it off. The bottom didn't get grain filler and you can see the big difference. Well, there's the backs. If we can see the fronts of the top, you can see the difference and there'll be a little bit of touch up. I'll find some grain areas I need to patch in. A little bit of, oh, I just noticed a little spot I need to hit with primer yet. But there's always little things missed and you see them the next day, you fix them, then you move on to the next step. So 